The future is electric. Okay. And so was the energy of more than 4,000 people marveling at Caltrain's new electric train sets for the very first time. It is a huge day for Caltrain, and High Speed Rail has been right there alongside them the whole time as a supporter and a funding partner in electrification. And not only that, but the future infrastructure of High Speed Rail in the corridor. It's a partnership that will transform the Bay Area and how quickly it can move. It feels cool knowing that I was part of history in the Bay Area, the first ever high-speed line outside the, the East Coast. The need to, uh, to bring power here up this corridor is key to, to complete the system. The state contributed $713 million to the Caltrain Modernization Project. Here you go. The infrastructure built today will also power the high-speed trains of the future in a blended corridor from San Jose to San Francisco. But the vision doesn't stop there. The Northern California section will run from San Francisco south to San Jose and Gilroy, and then east connecting to service in the Central Valley through the Pacheco Pass. The next stop will be Gilroy, and we're very excited about that, but funding is the key. Gilroy Mayor Marie Blankley says she's looking forward to the day when her city can reap the rewards of high-speed rail. Lower greenhouse gas emissions, cleaner air, less traffic, and more transit connectivity. Gilroy won't see electric trains until high-speed rail comes forward and electrifies the tracks. It shows the importance of transportation that we're making progress. I like this. That progress is something people can see, feel, and even smell. It smells like a new car, but not, but way more circular than Hello. The enhanced amenities offer a better experience for Caltrain riders. For Aubrey Lee, who uses a wheelchair, this ride is a big upgrade. I like using the bench plate instead of the lift. The lift takes a little bit longer, right? A lot longer. She also said the wheelchair area has a window for her to enjoy the view, unlike the old model, which faces a wall. Caltrain's new trains will go into service in late 2024. And riders can't wait for more improvements, including high-speed rail to come.